Hey there, and welcome back to Cosmic Crypto. In this video, we're going to be talking about Gala. G-A-L-A. Let's go. All right, all right. Welcome back to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Go down below, hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, if you can tap the like button, I'd really appreciate it. It is the best way to support the channel. Okay, Gala. We've been talking about Gala here for a little while. Uh, do a quick recap for anybody who hasn't been watching. We had a big move out of Gala for, um, when was this? Hap uh, happened at the beginning of the year, January 2nd. Had the big move up, broke out. A uh, nice move from the low down here to the top, about a 280% move. If you look onto the daily really quick, you can see that after we had that move, we ran into the 200 daily EMA and continued to hit that as resistance, uh, which pushed us all the way back down, which is not a bad thing because what that did on the weekly time frame is it came back down, held support at the 786 Fibonacci retracement here. And I believe, uh, this is my opinion, that we are forming a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Elliott wave here. And we have just completed the second wave. And we are on to the third wave on the weekly time frame. Not saying we can't get any retracements because this is the weekly time frame, but it is saying that if this is the third wave, this is usually the most impulsive wave. And so this should go fairly quickly. Um, anyway, so you can see also on the weekly time frame that uh, looks like we're about to get a green dot here on the trend directional. Um, now that doesn't always mean we're going to continue up. You can see that we had a green dot back here. And what do we do after that? We just fell even further until finally we had this green dot right here, which then told then gave us that 280% move. So they're not always accurate, but it is kind of nice to see where we are on the trend directional. Going down to the daily time frame. Now, like I said, the third wave is usually the most impulsive, but it doesn't mean we can't have any retracements. And I'm kind of thinking that we're going to get a retracement here, if not just sideways action um, to the upside. We are hitting some resistance uh, and the volume is decreasing. And so um, let me pull a fib from the very bottom here to that top. And if I'm looking for a retracement right now, especially if I do believe that this is a weekly time frame third wave, I'm going to look at resistant or uh, to find support on a retracement right around that 382 uh, retracement level from where we currently are. If we continue to go higher, then the 382 will obviously change. But as of right now, I'm looking at the 0238 area for some kind of support if we do come down even further. Um, we are in the red right now. I expected us to get into the red. We're hitting the 618 FIB. We're also hitting previous uh, support and resistance if we go all the way back. Uh, to the side over here, you can see this cluster uh, right here. So, I mean, it could take a few days for us to get through this. I mean, it depends on how bullish we are. I mean, right now, if these Bitcoin ETFs and other institutions are pushing the price right now, this thing could just blast right through there. Who knows? Uh, but I do believe that this retracement, uh, or at least some, a stall out is happening right now. Um, and so on the daily time frame, just looking at some kind of retracement, let's go down to the four hour. And so on the four hour, uh, you can see that we are holding a some kind of a trend right here. Um, not the cleanest, but it is it is holding this trend for the most part. And so your first sign of weakness, uh, well, first off, we have uh, bearish divergence here uh, on the trend directional, but also on the RSI. So you've got a higher high on the price and a lower high on the RSI. And so there's your weakness right there. But then you also, once you break through this trend line support here, uh, that's where I'm expecting the fall. Now, once we get to that point, I mean, maybe, so if we get, if we break through this uh, trend line here, that'll give us maybe a six and a half percent drop. Could even be further. I could be wrong about this. I mean, it could, it could all, it could go all the way down to seven, eight, six, if we're still bullish and still be, you know, and still be bullish. Uh, but if we are extremely bullish and BlackRock and all these other institutions really are getting into crypto, I don't expect us to go any further than uh, any lower than the 382 um, retracement right here. So we'll just have to wait and see. Right now, it's just a waiting game. I think that most everything is going to start coming in. This week, we're going to see what's going to happen. Are we going to maintain our bullishness and continue on to the upside? Or are we going to get a slight retracement and just go sideways for a few days? Um, but uh, right now, just pay attention to this trend line right here. If we break through it again, I do believe that uh, we will find support 
um, fairly quickly. And if we do go fair, a lot lower, even down to the 618 or something, I expect a large uh, wick uh, to the downside, something like this to come in and have buyers stepping in to bring that price back up. Um, but that's pretty much what I got for Gala. Just kind of waiting to see what's going to happen this week. Uh, we are stalling out right now. So that retracement or sideways action is likely. And we have that uh, divergence, bearish divergence happening on the price as well. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Share it with your friends. And I will talk to you later.